Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki. If you're new here, I filmed this start to finish um, tutorial on this look. So if you want to see how we got this look, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so the palettes that we're going to use today is the P. Louise palette. Don't talk about my palettes. My palettes are not dirty. They're just used. So I'm going to use this blue and this purple for the most part. And then, oh, wow. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Julius Place Zulu and Warrior two palettes so if you don't know what these palettes look like they're just colorful palettes i clearly use that brown a lot and come from my palettes so yeah i don't know what i'm doing exactly i'm just gonna kind of see style it so all right you guys so today i decided to do the brows on camera and um Every time I do brows on camera, I mess up, but it's also good that I messed up because I can show you guys how I fix brows when I do mess up. So I'm just combing her brows up. I don't know if you can tell, but her brows are like really different. One is slightly higher than the other, but in the end, both brows were pretty symmetrical. So I'm just going to start by etching out her brows on both sides. And you're going to see that once the brows are filled in, they look like completely different. But I'm going to get them as close as possible um, with my concealer. And I'm using the Absolute New York Brow Pencil in the color Smoke. Now I'm taking um, Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep Sands. And I'm taking this Morph Brush. Y'all, this is my new favorite must-have eyebrow brush. Like, oh my god, I'm going to have a list down below. But, girl, this brush, child. So I'm going to use the same color on the top as well. And I messed up on this brow. I don't know. I came down like, well, I know what I was trying to do. I was I was trying to come down lower on this brow. But I messed up. You can see it's, it's looking real. It's looking real ghetto. But we're going to fix the poo. We're going to fix it. I just moved on to the next um brow to etch that one out. And then I'm going to see what I have to do to get them even. All right, so since the concealer dried on the other side, I'm going to go on with my pencil. And I'm, I have to be heavy-handed because you already know what happens when you try to um, draw over concealer. It's a mess. So I'm just drawing over that concealer, and then I'm just going to go back in with the concealer and clean it up. So this is what I'm going to leave the brows like for now. In the end, I'll go in to make sure that they're as even as possible, but... With me, I don't know about y'all, but with me, if I keep on touching the brows, I'm going to mess up. So once I find something that's like doable and good enough, I'm like, I'm going to leave it alone because I'm going to mess up. Like, I just know I'm going to do something and the brows going to be messed up. So now I'm just blending the concealer out around the brows, blending out in between the eyebrows. And I'm also going to make sure that everything is leveled between the two brows. So now I'm going on with my Helen E eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to apply that directly onto the lid and blend it all the way up into the concealer. So 
So now we're going straight in to our first eyeshadow, the eyeshadow that I showed you from the P. Louise palette. And I'm taking Morphe M433 and I'm going to pack that color onto her eyelid. So I'm just going to take it across following the natural shape of her eye. When you start with the darkest color first, keep in mind that you want to start in a place where you know you're most likely to cut your crease. So don't definitely don't start with this color too high because you're not going to leave any room for transition colors. You're going to cut your cut crease too high. So make sure when you're doing this, you're starting pretty low. Not too low, but at a good midpoint because you're going to cut your crease directly underneath the darkest color. Okay, so you just want to keep tapping and blending up ever so gently. You don't want to tap too hard because you don't want the eyeshadow to break up. And you do kind of want to feather this blue color out so it can meet that purple color that we're going to go into next. I did dip into the purple from P. Louise first, but then I decided to go in to this lighter purple um, from the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And we're just going to tap that above the blue. We're going to meet those two colors together and we're going to feather that purple out. And I'm using my Morphe M441 brush to do this. All right, so again, starting with that P. Louise purple, just because we did it on the other eye, and then I'm going to move on to using the lighter purple from the Juvia's Place palette. So now I'm going back into that indigo blue color and I'm just tapping that, really packing it on so that it's like really present. I'm just packing it back on so that we could see it because we kind of blended it out with the purple.
and then I'm gonna go back in with the purple. So you guys, I'm just repeating the same steps literally. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth with the colors until I'm happy with the way it looks. Now I'm gonna go into my Anastasia um, Soft Glam Palette. And I'm gonna take that black and I'm gonna tap that underneath the blue just to intensify the blue a little bit more. Now I'm going in with my Inglot Gel Liner. I I think this is 94, it's it's silver. Um, so I'm just gonna tap this on. I'm, I'm cutting the crease, but I the way I cut the crease is just tapping the product on, if you're new to my channel. So I'm gonna have her look up. She has hooded eyes. So I wanna make sure that we can see the cut crease with her eyes open. So now I'm just going to take the same brush that we used to apply the base and I'm just going to tap off any extra product and I'm going to make sure that I tap out the outer portion of her eye so that it's a little bit blended so that when I go in to smoke out the outer corner, it doesn't get all patchy and blotchy. That happens if you don't blend out that outer corner. <laughs> I'm going directly in with a fine glitter. This is in the shade 1979 from my glitter line. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to tap this glitter on. I didn't add any glue. I'm tapping it directly on to the base. You can only do this if you're using a gel metallic base. Don't do this if you're using like P. Louise or a cream base. It's going to be an absolute mess. You want to make sure you're really tapping this in. All right, so now we're going to go back into our shadow 
and we're going to smoke out the outer portion of the eye. We're going to use that indigo blue and just bring that color in. Now I'm going to take some glitter glue, which is also from my site, and I'm going to use my pinky um, just to tap out the glue so that it's evenly spread. And then I'm also going to take that same pinky and just tap on some chunky glitter. I would have, I could use a brush, but because my finger is, my nail is broken, I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that I can use my finger to do this, and that way you get to pick up the pieces that you want. So I'm just picking up the chunky pieces, and I'm going to just. Place them on the eye so everything is nice and flat and even. So this is what it looks like in real life. I had to pull out my cell phone so you guys can really see what it looks like. Alright, so now moving on to the face. All I'm doing, you guys, is taking a makeup wipe. And I'm going to remove the glitter. That's it. Nothing crazy. Nothing special. We're just going to take that makeup wipe and we're going to wipe the glitter off. Alright, so I prepped and primed her skin off camera. I'll list down below what I use. Now I'm taking Max Nourishing Pro Longwear Foundation in the shade NC50. And I'm going to apply that onto her face. I'm going to let that sit. And I'm going to apply her lashes. So I'm showing you guys in real time what I do when I'm like booked all day. This is the process in which I do the face. So I'm letting the foundation sit and oxidize. Do whatever it is that it needs to do on the skin while I apply her lashes. And my, yo, I went through so much. My camera died um, while I was doing the skin. And I had to like switch over to my phone. Girl, it was so ghetto. But yeah, I did use two foundations as I usually do, a lighter one and a darker one, um, and it'll be down in the description below. I'm going to cut to the cell phone footage now. Okay. Wow. See, I, I, I got to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't judging you. I got to talk about this today on my Insta story because this is the most ghetto thing. But people do be recording on their cell phone though. Yeah. But it's just like that's my work. It is to get it off your phone. Luckily I could just save it to the iCloud and then it'll be on my computer. So yeah, as you can see there is a lighter and a darker foundation. And I'm just taking my real techniques Instapop face brush and I'm gonna blend out the foundation. I went through so much trying to film this tutorial for you guys. First, my original model canceled on me. Then both of my camera batteries died, even though I charged them. I was filming on my cell phone. My cell phone died. Girl, it was just, it was a mess. But I really wanted to get this video out on New Year's Eve so I can start the year off right. Um. So yeah, now I'm taking the same concealer that we use on her eyebrows. And I'm taking that um, underneath her eyes above her lip, chin, nose, and forehead.
All right, I also put um, a contour shade down. I'm using the Smashbox foundation and I'm gonna use that to contour and I'm gonna start my blending. And we're going to blend everything out with our sponge. And now we're going to go back to our camera footage. I'm now going in with the e.l.f. concealer. I'm using the shade. I mixed two shades, actually. So I'll list down below the two shades that I mixed together. And I'm going to apply this underneath her eyes for a more brighter, highlighted look. I posted on my Insta story that I had picked up these concealers from Ulta and everybody wanted to know how I feel about them. This is my first time using the concealers and I'm definitely going to be using them again. I'm going to try them on myself because I was so impressed. Girl, this is full coverage. They need to have, I'm, excuse me, I'm so sick. They need to have more colors. If they have more colors, cha boo -ba. They for sure need more colors. But this concealer, oh, baby. I was so happy. I was so happy. And I feel like you don't have to bake with this concealer because it kind of sets itself because it dries matte. And it didn't crease. It did not crease, you guys. But you know I'm a big honey check. I'm, I'm a baker, okay? So I mixed three different powders. I'm pressing it underneath her eyes first. Look how smooth. I'm pressing it underneath her eyes first to set. And then I'm going to leave some behind to bake. I'm using the Anastasia powder in peach. I'm using Luscious by Lynn powder. And I'm using Sasha Buttercup. All right, so now that she's baking, we're going to go and start working on warming up the face. I'm going into my Zulu palette. I'm taking that warm brown, and this is what I use as a bronzer. A lot of the times, it just really helps to warm up the face. So I'm going to take that on her cheeks and forehead. Now I'm going to go into the Dulce palette and I'm using this um, beautiful deep brown. It's like a purplish brown. I love it for contour. Obviously, I use it very lightly because it's a very dark color, but I can use it on almost every skin tone um, and it contours really nicely. So now I'm going in with my MAC blush in the shade Raisin, and I'm just going to use this blush to bring her cheeks in more 
and warm up the center of her face. All right, so I added some white um, <clears throat> liner in her bottom lash line. I'm using the NYX Jumbo White Liner, and now I'm going to go ahead and add some color to the bottom. I'm packing on that purple from the Juvia's Place, and then I'm also going to pack on that indigo blue from the P. Louise palette. I'm going to wipe off the fallout and then I'm going to take whatever is left on my concealer brush to just clean up that little bit of stain that the blue eyeshadow left. Now I'm going to go in with some pigment. It's like a lilac shade. Now I'm going to add some eyeliner. And I'm not doing a thick wing. Wow, I'm not doing a thick wing. I'm doing a pretty thin wing. I'm going to spray her down with the Morphe spray. Now I'm going to highlight her skin. I'm using my highlighter Glow Sis and Glow Queen mixed together. And girl, this is the holy girl. I love mixing these two together, honey. So pretty. I'm not going to do too much highlighter, though. I did her lips off camera. We just did like a pink glossy nude look. And this is a completed look, you guys. You know, I got the cell phone footage for you, Pooh. Yes, she looks so pretty. All right, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoy this look and enjoy this video. I wish you guys a happy new year. I wish you guys love, success, abundance, money everything you want baby i wish it for you and thank you guys for being on this journey with me i can't wait to see what this year brings us love you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next tutorial bye